And now I want to bring in Angel McCautry. She is a WNBA player. She's also competed in the 2012 and 2016 Olympics with Brittany Griner on the U.S. women's basketball team. And on Friday, she told TMZ that she's not going back to Russia to play basketball. And she's here to talk a little bit more about that. I'm so glad we were able, were able to talk to you because, I, I, you know, the first thing I thought when Brittany Griner was, when we learned that she had been detained, was, what are you doing uh -huh. over there? <laughs> There's a war. And then as I started right. to do more research, I thought, oh, I know why, why you're over there. I mean, it makes a, an awful lot of sense. So I want to talk mm -hmm. to people about the incredible pay gap and how much money can be made over there. But I know it's not just about the money, but let's start there. Uh, there's a major pay gap between the WNBA and the NBA. On average, WNBA players make $128,000, and that's on average. New players get half of that. And as we mm -hmm. already know, for NBA players, the average, uh, they make millions of dollars. It's right. really expensive right. to be a top-notch <laughs> athlete. You know, a world-class athlete oh, yeah. costs an awful lot of money. Can you talk to us about this pay gap and the impact that it has on you? Yeah, I would say a lot of the women are undervalued. You mm -hmm. can't tell me that a Brittany Griner, a Sue Bird, a Diana Taurasi, a Candace Parker, people, uh, uh, these players that everybody knows make under a million dollars. It's, it's just so undervalued. I was the number one draft pick to Atlanta and I was getting $44,000. You tell me I'm not going to take a contract overseas to, mm -hmm. to make more than that in one month? I played in Russia for three years. I played in Lebanon. I just heard this story that was on before I, I'm on. Mm -hmm. I, I played in all these countries, um, and, and they've treated us like NBA players over there. If that if that would make sense. Yeah. And um, with with the situation with Brittany, they had got the tip to leave early because something we knew something was brewing. So we they, they got the calls. So that's why all the girls were headed out of Russia before everything happened with Ukraine, and and that's when everything happened with Brittany during that moment where everybody's trying to get out. They've seen us before. We've crossed those borders so many times. Mm -hmm. They've seen us tall, beautiful black women. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's nothing new for them. They have uh, male players over there, tall black men. So so they know us. Yeah, and and Angel, I mean, you you as you point out, you played in, in Russia. Um, and I find it ironic that um, you and Brittany and others are big stars in yeah. Russia and in other countries. Um, and you are treated like the superstar athletes that you are mm -hmm. in a in a in playing a sport that was invented here in the united states and you don't get the same love and attention and specifically Absolutely. financial uh love um that the male counterparts do and i understand that you know that there are television contracts and advertising that's different for the WNBA than it is for the nba but just talk to me a little bit more about what it's like on one hand, you are in playing in a country where the government is an authoritarian one and things can go pear-shaped like they did for Britney. And on the other, you're surrounded by people, uh, fans, who love seeing you all play. Right. And I, I want, you know, uh, fans, but I, what I get the sense to is that you're valued more. Not, it's not just about the money, but there is, yeah. you're There's valued value at the same level as male athletes. Yeah, we're, we're queens over there. Mm. Like, I've played in front of 20,000 fans screaming and hollering for us. I think the main thing is this, right? We're, the WNBA has been around for 25 years. We are farther along than the NBA was at 25 years. Mm. That's a fact, okay? People say, oh, you guys don't draw the fans or, or you guys don't get the viewership, but we're not nearly as promoted as aggressively as our male counterparts. Not even close. Mm -hmm. Imagine if we got the promotion and the sponsorship dollars around us, it will work. Because when I meet people, they want to come watch me play because they know who they're coming to watch. Mm -hmm. If people um, went to an NBA game, they don't know who they're going to watch, they're not going to come. So now we need to shine more lights on, on the stories of these women. There was one WNBA player playing with cancer. These these girls are CEOs, mm -hmm. businesswomen, their mothers. Uh, uh, the, uh, Candace Parker, she was taking her daughter to Russia for the first five years of her life. These stories aren't told. So, so obviously the Britney story opened up a lot of can of worms that we need to focus on, obviously bringing other Americans back. I mean, obviously Britney has helped with that to us to shine a light on that. So Angel, I'm gonna ask you a tough question though, a little bit of a tougher question, right? Because as, as Vlad pointed out, Russia is an authoritarian country. Um, yes, we know the money is good and you're valued more, but it's also, uh, you know where you're going. This is a country that doesn't have a lot of respect for human rights. This is a country that in particular has very little respect for LGBTQ rights. I would say it's, you know, mm -hmm. probably one of the particularly more backward country when it comes to that sort of thing. Um, 
Is this something that you wrestle with or have wrestled with? I, I would say this. I would say from traveling the world, every country has its different issues. So so, so does our country. Mm-hmm. And, and I, I read something that, that said, oh, Brittany doesn't love her country. She loves this country. We fought for, to win gold medals for, for this country, right? But I, I'll put it like this. I played in Lebanon. I played in Russia. Have I experienced any racism or anything like that? No. Have I experienced racism where I'm from? Yes. Mm. So we all have issues in, in other countries. Yeah, they, they probably definitely more a little more homophobia over there. Um, but I would say that people were still treated with respect. I had no issues. Uh, Brittany didn't have any issues until this incident just happened. A plane, because you guys didn't hear anything about any issues over there with us. We didn't have any issues. But this particular incident during this political time, it shed a lot a lot of light on everything. Angel, really quickly, how tough is of a decision is it for you not to go back to Russia? Because that's a major pay cut for you. you know, it, it's definitely a major pay cut. But now let's open the door where let, let's value our women over here that, that work so hard. Let's mm-hmm. let's promote them, push their storytelling. And, and it will everything will rise over here. We don't have we shouldn't have to go over there anymore. Let's let's be able to make, um, you know, that same kind of money in our own country and then give back. That's what we want to do because hmm. we are accessible and we do give back to, to the community a lot. And, and if you look at uh, the, all the charities and things that Brittany was in, she was in so much stuff. I mean, she does love this country. And right. obviously we were all we were all like, you know, uh, kneeling for the flag, not not because we hate our country, because we love the country and we want everybody in unison as one. That's why. Let's flip the narrative. So um, but girls are still over there now. Is, are any Americans in Russia right now? No. But I, I, I want to see what's going to happen if a Russian team's offer uh, a player a $1 million, $2 million, mm. is she going to take that? I'm, I'm interested to see that because she's not going to get $1 million, $2 million in the WNBA. Mm-hmm. Not, at, least, at least not right now. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, Angel McCautry, thank you for sharing your story yeah. uh, with us. Uh, we really appreciate it. You're a superstar to us. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you, Angel. Thank you.